Hello and welcome to today's episode of This is Kadikoi. Today I'm joined by Yukis. Yukis, how are you today? Uh, I'm really good, thank you. I'm already over the Sunday's upset. It was, uh, the Sunday we weren't too good, but uh, yeah, now, now I'm looking uh, for the future, bright future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good place to be then. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> So, uh, what did you sort of think about the match overall? What, let's hear your thoughts. Uh, well, <clears throat> we controlled the game, uh, but it was typical uh, Bashak Sehir game where they, they had that one shot and they scored scored with it. Uh, <clears throat> I, was, uh, I was thinking before the game that this time we might win them, actually, but uh, yeah... I, I weren't too surprised that we lost there. Uh, only the tactics were weren't, you know, really really good in, in a way because we were just uh, crossing the ball to standing players because we were our build up was way too slow. So they they had there already like eight players in their box when we were trying to cross the ball, and our players were also just standing there because they couldn't. You know, because we were building up so slowly. Uh, so that was the big minus. But uh, other than that, I think uh, we shouldn't be too... <clears throat> how to say... Well, I, I still think that we're going to win the title. We just need to be more clinical in front of goal and the goals will come. And I think uh, Dick will learn, to play that, learn how to play in the Super League soon enough for us to collect more points what about you uh yeah well i agree with what you're saying really i mean we can you know it's always disappointing to lose and it's always disappointing to lose your first game because at the moment we've still got no points which is as if the season hasn't started is a way sort of like how i sometimes might look at it but we have to remember uh the shacks here they finished fourth uh in the league the past two seasons and it's uh, yeah, it's just one of our. It's always going to be one of our hardest games. So it's not the uh, yeah. As you said, we can still win the title. It's just the first game week. That's come and yeah. Go. I mean, um, and yeah, they've got they've got their defensive style of play, which is really frustrating. I think, well, some mistakes that Pereira made last season uh, with teams uh, Bashakshi and Konya because they played the same sort of defensive football. It sort of need we need to be um, absorbing their attack so we can try and sort of counter attack mm-hmm. and then score because just throwing our attacks at them doesn't work as we saw in the game like we get lots of chart we we kept on getting there but we cross it in and they sort of head it out I mean we had to do this this time because we conceded so early but I would have been interested to see what advocate might have done had he sort of had the opportunity to uh, maybe like yeah control the game a bit more and not have a shock um, sort of goal coming so early so I mean I'm not sure whether he's going to be the like Pereira and sort of make this mistake and I I think it's also a bit of the fans um, because if we were sitting back trying to pull their players out from defence um, the fans would start getting annoyed and want us to attack, but in the end, that's the way you, you've got to beat. That's the way you can. You have to beat these teams because they will come and attack, as they did really early on. And they, yeah, just they sort of. It was a game. The game. I think the coach Abdullah Abji likes to play. So, uh, so who do you think played well for Fenerbahce at the in the game? Uh it's really hard to say because you know the game was a bit uh, dull. You know we couldn't couldn't play as we wanted. Uh, but if I have to pick uh, one, well, I cannot really. But I was uh, uh, I was quite happy with uh, Roman uh, noise that there. Uh, he he was okay. You know. They didn't have too much uh, work at the back, but uh, still, he looked okay. Because uh, 
I was a bit worried if we're gonna lose, uh, you know, Simon Kiar for for longer time. How these two gonna cope there? But they, they did well uh, with Skirtle. But uh, yeah, uh, I cannot really really pick one there, and uh, I don't really think that uh, anyone did uh, particularly uh, bad either. Maybe maybe some of the crosses from. Uh, Hassan Ali and uh, and Wonder Wheel were weren't too good, but uh, like I said earlier, it's, it's really hard if there's like eight eight opponents in the box, so yeah. can't really blame them. Yeah, I agree. Really, I mean, well, if, uh, Hassan Ali, he's I think he's like a good left back, but his just crosses are just he can do low crosses quite well, um, mm-hmm. and stuff. He set up quite a few throughout the past season. I think there was one in the Bashakshir game. But I just think, yeah, his crosses are quite bad in general. And there was one time, obviously, when there's a lot of defenders in the box, there was, uh, it's not like, as you said, it's quite hard. And I don't blame him for crosses like that. But uh, there was one cross, I think, he... Um, he saw there wasn't even anyone in the box. And we pretty much just lost an attack because... He just sort of, yeah, crossed it and no one was there. And it was like, oh, now we have to go back and attack again. So I think, yeah, I mean, but I, I think generally he played well. Um, I'd probably say maybe Mehmet Topal sort of, he was playing well, but I think he let his frustrations get to him. And you could see him sort of fouling and fouling and then he got sent off. So I think uh, he'd probably be, yeah, sort of like, my the only player I can really complain about, and as you said, I don't think any players really stood out that much. Um, so yeah, I mean, as you said, as I say, it's just a sort of a frustrating game and one we sort of think about. Um, I think yeah, next well the weekend we'll play Kayseri and at uh, uh, home, so that should be a bit easier for us. Uh, hopefully, we can get three points and then sort of kick off our season. But first of all, we have the Grasshoppers game. And so, sort of, well, we're, we're pretty much through to the Europa League groups. Obviously, we know in football, sort of, miracles can happen. But what do you sort of think? Do you think, Advocat, will he sort of um, play some maybe second string sort of a team because we're winning 3 0? Or what, what do you think he's going to do in this game? No, I don't think he will, he will put, like, second string team. I. I guess he want to learn, learn how the players play, and uh, you know he might change some players, like he did, uh, you know, after the good grasshopper game. He, he changed quite many players, but I, I think he's doing it uh, just for the reason, you know, to see how how some players fit to his tactics. So <clears throat> he might do some changes, but I, I still think that. Uh, he will not go there, you know, just to avoid three nil, three nil loss. I think uh, we will go there to win the game, but uh, <clears throat> but but yeah, hopefully we will score that one goal in the beginning. So that would mean that uh, Grasshoppers should score five, so we can <laughs> we can relax because three nil is three nil. But uh, you know, yeah, we. <laughs> We are able to uh, still screw this uh, this tie as well if we gonna go there like uh, we are already true. Mm. Yeah, I mean it is quite good, obviously having this uh, yeah free advantage. So, it, it, say we do bring the big players, they can play quite comfortably, and we can sort of try out Dick's tactics a bit more comfortably, knowing we've got this sort of free goal cushion. But as you said, uh, Grasshoppers are a professional club. They won't see themselves as completely out and they're going to try and score. And, you know, three goals, when you think about it, isn't that much. Um, mm. Like you said, I just... Um, but yeah, hopefully maybe we can get an early goal. Um, but yeah, it would just be good to see us through to the group stages and hopefully then, yeah, we can see what happens from there, really, who we pull them out of the group sure we can will be a good match for any team obviously there's some big teams like Manchester United etc in the groups this this time around but we'll see who we get 
Um, so is there anything you'd like to say at the end of this podcast? Uh, well, <clears throat> just that, uh, you know, people won't uh, lose their hope after one one loss. You know, we, the season is long and we, I believe we're going to go to the group stage of uh, Europa League and further, even further there, maybe even final. Uh, and we have, uh, the league is, there's still 33 matches left. And uh, oh, we we lost the first game also the season. Uh, we had Ersin Janal and you know it. In the end, it was really good season. So I hope that uh, you know fans go to the stadium and support the team. Even we would uh, you know lose a couple of games in, uh, during the season. Yeah, I, yeah, I know it's uh, it's we shouldn't give up hope. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I think. If anyone has done, I think they probably need their head examined a bit, <laughs> because yeah, it's it's uh, we're yeah we've still got so much time. Obviously, we might think, oh, if we hadn't lost that game, we we can think that at the end of the season. But it's likely we're going to lose more games and to the weaker teams than Bashaksha here, I think. Um, but anyway, so everyone needs to keep on supporting the team. I think. Uh, thank you for listening to this episode. Goodbye. And, and sorry, sorry. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, one uh, one more thing. You know, Ilka is always. Uh, you know, he always remembers us oh, when, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, when we are not around. So yeah, he's probably hanging with the chicks. Uh, he said that he's uh, he's working, but uh, I don't really think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That was true. laughs> yeah, he's always trying to be like, yeah, yeah. You guys, you know, John is the player. <laughs> Yukis is uh, playing with <laughs> with his wife, but no, I think I think Ilka is uh, yeah, is yeah. the real player. <laughs> he tries to uh, direct it away from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, so yeah. greetings for Ilka. Yeah, um, we we hopefully will have him back again, and we can be the trio team that we have. Um, in the next episode but yeah yes until then see ya